do this problem. Because I'm going to do kind of like a little bit of review here in a second as well. But ladies and gentlemen, if we know this is theta, can you put that away, please? I really have no idea why you'd be doing that right now. If you have theta right here, we talked about reference angles that this would be your reference angle. Do you guys agree with me? Right? And what we said was the sine, cosine, and tangent of theta is exactly the same as your reference angle. So rather than using theta, we can just use my reference angle, correct? What's nice about using the reference angle is we can now use the reference angle to create a triangle. So I'm just going to put the theta prime here. I'm actually going to draw it like that. Does everybody follow me? If that's theta, then that's theta prime. So what I told you guys to do was to create what we call our central angles. Central angles are angles where the vertex, which is your vertex is at the center, and you're always going to have them perpendicular to the x-axis. So to create a triangle, all you're simply going to do from the coordinate point is draw a vertical line with the x-axis. What that does is that now creates a right triangle. So now we're using the reference angle as our theta. We drew a perpendicular line to the axis, which now creates a right triangle. Now that we've created a right triangle, we can evaluate for sine, cosine, tangent. Correct? So if my coordinate point is negative 1 up 2, this value has to be negative 1. This value has to be 2. I can quickly do Pythagorean theorem. So that's going to be 1 plus 4 equals c squared. So therefore, this is the square root of 5. Correct? All right. So they're asking us, evaluate the six trigonometric functions of your angle. Well, the important thing is we know that that's negative. Now we have our side length. So now we just do sine, cosine, and tangent. So sine of theta, cosine of theta, tangent of theta. Sine is opposite over adjacent. So here's our theta. So I'd want to make sure I evaluate. I know this is my hypotenuse. If this is theta, that's my adjacent, and that's my opposite. We're going theta prime, right? Yes. Because, you, yeah. guys, the reason why you have to go after theta prime is theta it doesn't, isn't a triangle. right? So we're using the reference angle so we have a right triangle. Because that's the only time we can use our trigonometric functions. Yes? So Um, yes, for a central angle. You can look over here. See how it's always the, j, the x axis is always connecting the angle with the right angle? So we just do opposite over hypotenuse. So this one is uh, negative 1 over the square root of 2. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Opposite over hypotenuse. 2 over the square root of 5, which I can simplify into 2 square root of 5 over 5. Cosine is going to be negative 1 over square root of 5 which, again, you can rationalize the denominator, is going to be negative square root of 5 over 5. And tangent is opposite over adjacent, which is 2 over negative 1, which equals negative 2. Does everybody follow me with that? Anybody have any questions on that? And then you still have to do the cosecant and secants. So then all you simply need to do with that, though, I always do sine, cosine, tangent first. Because then to do cosecant of theta, secant of theta, and cotangent of theta, you just reciprocate them. I wouldn't reciprocate this. I would reciprocate the ones where my radicals are in the denominator. Square root of 5 over 2, um, negative square root of 5, and negative 1 half. Done.